Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We've had a look at how this game works in, in the basics, but now we need to do something because a giant bird was flying around and carrying something, someone, I think, and the pirate ship was shooting at it, and just whatever the person it was holding got dropped into the forest up there, and we need some kind of weapon now. Obviously, uh, I can't imagine what kind of weapon we're going to find. But there's one place that we should know where to find one. I guess a few places, but this is where we need to go. Need to talk to the Blade Master himself. Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What do you say, Link? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction on, in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Very good. Your first lesson shall be that with the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do, do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Okay then, well then, just press B. Good, keep coming at me with until you hear me say very good. So if we just keep mashing the button, we can keep stabbing him like, or slashing at him like that. Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Hold down ZL to target me and then press B. Keep swinging. So we actually do a different attack just by holding down targeting. Very good. Next is the thrust. Target me with ZL and then tilt forward uh, and press B and press B. Yeah, to tilt the left stick towards him and then press B to thrust with your sword. So yeah, we can actually stab with by holding forward while targeting uh, or pro probably by just holding forward anyway. But targeting helps. Very good. Keep thrusting. Next is the spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your strength, then release it, or rotate the left stick once and press B. Very good. More. Keep it up. So yeah, we can rotate the control stick and press B to do a spin, or we can hold it down to do a spin, which is probably a lot easier. Next is harder. This is the power attack, targeting with ZL until you see the A flash with spikes around it, I guess. And then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. So you actually wait for your opponent to attack you and then you press A to actually counter them and attack them. Very good, and again, target with ZL and watch closely for, for the A button. Very good, now finally the jump attack. Draw your sword, target, and press A. Yeah. Come at me once more. Yeah. That was a fine display. And yet I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero's sword. Wield it with B. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. Something else that's interesting is we can actually roll into the wall here. Knocking down all those pots. <laughs> like the pots upstairs that would have been... ...smashed if we had done that upstairs, I guess. Hmm. It's fine. 
But anyway, now that we have a sword, we can actually do a few things, like cutting bushes, grass, and even some small trees. So yeah, we can actually get to everything now. We can also use this to cut this pot, these cuts, cut, cut the pots, pots open. But anyway, let's look around, I guess, and go to where we need to go. What was that noise? It was awful. You'd better return home quickly. A sound like that can mean only mean trouble. Trouble. You know what I'd do if trouble came my way? I'd throw rocks to fight it off. You could handle that, couldn't you? It's easy. Just stand in front of a rock and press A to lift and press A again to throw it. If you just want this to set the rock back, press ZR. Okay, you, you just giving me a tutorial that I've probably already... I'm pretty sure I already had that tutorial anyway. Let's roll quickly over this way to do some stuff. Also, I don't know if this guy's going to say anything different if I cut his grass for him. Probably not. But some rupees pop out. Oh, say, that's a fine sword you have there, buddy. Just look at that thing. You know, you'd be doing me a favor if you cut all the, this grass here for me. I don't know if you're going to say anything different if I cut all the grass, though. And I don't know if I want to find out, but I kind of do, because you might give me money. And I might find money just from cutting the grass anyway, so... Come on. Cutting all the grass. I mean, it shouldn't take me that long, but still. This reminds me of the days of grinding rupees in Phantom Hourglass. Sometimes you can find things in the grass when you cut it, so it's always... It isn't always a thankless chore. It pays, buddy. Okay, that is all you have to say, and you're not going to give me any reward. I guess cutting the grass was a reward itself, especially because it gave me a few rupees. But anyway, let's follow up this path now to the forest. No entry! The forest paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. You can't tell me what to do, sign. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, it's dead. Anyway, we can cut our way through here now, and we can go all the way up. But the bridge is slightly broken, so we should be fine, though since we've learned a lot of other ways to get through things. But it is cool to actually go up this way because you don't have to. But it's just cool because this is the highest point that you can actually be in this area to look around. It's just lovely to look around in this game. But anyway, Fairy Fountain side ahead. Increase your fortune. Okay. We'll have to keep that in mind, but I don't think we can actually do anything with that. Also, am I crazy... Okay, we can slash it the, the rope on the bridge, but it doesn't do anything. Let's head into the forest. Okay, then. Well, we're gonna have to take a few paths to the side to get around. But here we go. Our first enemy. A Bokoblin, I believe. I could be wrong about its name, but I'm pretty sure it's a Bokoblin. I think. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong about that. But also, I believe there's actually a rupee, a red rupee in here that we can grab by cra crawling through this log, I guess. So I want that. Because rupees are going to be helpful. Up we get... What does this sign have to say? This looks so different in this version. It's crazy. Fairy Fountain Sight! This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. Legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with a great fortune. So it came to be known as the Fairy Fountain... The, the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. Unfortunately, there's nothing here anymore. So, uh, we're gonna have to move on. And go up this way. Now we have some more Bokoblins. Luckily, we can just 
pretty much beat him up without them even knowing what to do. Come on. Split attack. Okay, that's one out of the way. Actually, that's two out of the way. Ouch! Wow. What's with that? Get up. Well, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the, on the summit, I thought you, for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't very nice of it. Well, don't just stand there, let's go! Time for uh, to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Also, if you're as confused as I was my first time seeing that, that's actually the entrance that we came in through. Hi, big brother! Brother! Stupid kid, get hold of yourself. She's gone, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> what? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates, the terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we what we get, a headache. I know how you must feel with the, your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't come that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get uh, off butting in on somebody else, someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you, uh, you, big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst men the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't you heard, any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped recently? Or lately. From all regions of the Great Sea. No matter. Whatever you've heard, or whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears, like yours, have been getting kidnapped. Never to be seen again. And unless you, my eyes fail me, that young girl who ha was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monster monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is that true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird was uh, that kidnapped both of you and Link's sister was has made its foul nest in the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that, that the place where... So, what are you going to do? 
Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? Humph. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it lately, I have heard nothing but evil rumors about the, this Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a, a simple little island like this has to do... Ha, has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while. So you better say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy and weepy eyed and homesick on me. Well, uh, let's make some final preparations before we move on. I actually want to spend a little bit more rupees on some bait, so I'm going to do that now. And then we have to find a shield. We've only seen one of those, so we should know where to go. Also, the slot in the first slot. The, the, the item in the first slot here is now a hoi pair. But let's buy some uh, all purpose bait. And I might even do another, another one. Come on. Let's do it. And there we go, we have five points. On our way already. It's pretty good. But anyway, let's go see Grandma. Link, I thought I heard Errol's voice cry out far from far away. Is it... is it really true? What is it, Link? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Errol? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? Shield's gone. Well, that's a shame. Link. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You got the hero's shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. You can you can move around uh, if you defend while targeting. I guess it is true. Errol really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young girl? Oh, Errol. Goodbye, Grandma. So, with all that now, we have a shield. Which means that if we have our sword out, we can also block things. If we're targeting, we can actually move around while holding it out. And yeah, we can actually aim it with the left stick as well, which is useful in certain situations. But anyway. Let's move on. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. Good luck, Link! Good luck finding Errol! Take care of yourself!
Uh, how much longer do you think this is going to go on? Do you have any, an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure you shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? That was such a quick turnaround. Link, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I've told Nico to look after you, so you'd better report below decks and ask him what you should bring be, should be doing. So yeah, well now we're on the pirate ship as it's sailing to our destination. Might as well look around while we're here though. Into the big blue, boys. Turn the ship full to starboard. We heard for we head we head for the northern seas. Listen, shrimp, you really creeping me out. Standing there like that, so quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way, way out of my way. Go down below and find Nico. Yep. Hmm, that Nico didn't make out half bad with you being the new Swabby and all. New Swabbies always get stuck uh, doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey, I'll tell you. Uh, it, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine so long as you don't disobey him. So, your name's Link, right? Hehehe. <laughs> that one's weird. That's one weird get-up you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Now that I think about it though, I think I've seen an outfit like that before somewhere. You can also climb up this ladder here to go up to the top of the ship. Oh my goodness, creaking. <laughs> that just makes me feel very bad. I don't like that sound while I'm climbing up this thing. But anyway, you. Get out of my the way, will ya? Turn around right now. Climb down. Okay, sir. So I'll go. Once I feel like... Yeah, you can actually grab back onto the ladder by t tapping up. While you're going down, sir. So. If you make, make a mistake by going down, you can grab back on the ladder and go back up. Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in there. There's no way we're, we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it. But I want to see what's in there. I want to I wanna, wanna find treasure. Oh well, there's also some barrels around here that we can grab and throw, I guess. We'll put down. But anyway, let's go down here to Nico. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, <clears throat> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you. So you you do as I say, okay? Right, now, first of off, you have to take... Ugh, you have to take the tests all new parts have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you, real careful like, so you can cram it into your, no doubt, mushy, swabby brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only, this is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt up on the left stick to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. You're right, man. You sound like you hurt yourself. Okay, so I was able to jump this, to this first one myself, but the next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this.
If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use the left stick to swing. Un swing until you get close enough to grab the, uh, close enough to the next platform, and then press A to let go and jump to it. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while. So if you don't get there by the time they drop, you'll have you have to start over. It will probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. That one tough year. Full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for a chuckle or two. We can also press this switch over here if we need to, to reset the platforms by making it go down. And if you fall down there and we need to get up, there's a ladder to get up, so... Yeah, we have a time limit on these platforms being up, so we actually have to go as quickly as possible. And we could also, also take some shortcuts if we wanted to go even faster and be more efficient, so... But anyway, it's not actually that hard. So let me just go to the end, careful not to fall off in any stupid way, and we're done. First try. What? You did it already? I, I, I'm proud of, to have you as, as my, as my underling. Ah, <sighs> so emotional. I wonder if it's okay to just give him, that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. Alright, so we, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward for, from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Please, do it fast. I'll keep watch. Anyway, we can also break some of these barrels in here if we want to grind extra rupees, which we really don't need at the moment. Let's open up this special looking treasure chest with spikes on it. And we get the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight kinds of items. It's a lot like the spoils bag, but for different items, basically. Hi. Hey Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. Okay then. If I have to. I'm surprised I couldn't actually reach that thing, but I guess I couldn't jump from it in the first place to get to the last area anyway. Okay, there's also some pots over here that we can actually just roll into the wall to knock down as well, so... I noticed that as I was going down, but it's very easy to miss that if you just need to um, want to grind as many rupees as you want early on, so... But anyway... Hey! Link! Here I am, up here! Everyone seems very relaxed at the moment. Somewhat. The young miss is waiting for you up above. We have reached the Forsaken Fortress. What are you doing, shrimp? Miss Tetra is waiting for you up in the crow's nest. Shake a leg, yeah? Go, hoof it. Was Nico's test easy? Really? So that's the Forsaken Fortress. What an evil looking place. Such an evil looking place that we're hiding behind a rock. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the Cursed Isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There's all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do not do know is that long ago it was used to be the hideout of a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks 
like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under a really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near the landing there. What do we do now? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do it all. Do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three. Two. One. Goodbye! Well, we missed, we lost our sword, and we landed at the base of the Forsaken Fortress, and now we have to go all the way up there, past all of the defense guard, oh my goodness. This is just not a good time for us. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.